In question 5 we have the end view of a simple electric generator using a rectangular coil rotating in a uniform magnetic field with the axle at right angles to the field direction. When in the position shown the angle between the direction of the magnetic field and the normal to the plane is theta. In A we're told the coil has 50 turns with an area of 1.9 times 10 to the minus 3 square meters. The flux density of the magnetic field 2.8 times 10 to the minus 2 tesla and we need to find the flux linkage when theta is 35 degrees expressing our answer to an appropriate number of significant figures. Well flux linkage is given by magnetic flux density times area times number of turns times the cosine of angle theta. Putting in the values gives a value of 2.2 times 10 to the minus 3 Weber's. We're given the data here to two significant figures so our answer is to two significant figures. In B the coil is rotated at a constant speed causing an EMF to be induced. In part 1 we need to add to these axes a graph of how the induced EMF varies with the angle theta during one complete rotation starting with theta equals naught. We don't need to give values of the EMF. Well at an angle naught there will be no induced EMF as there is no motion of the wires perpendicular to the field. At 90 degrees we will have a maximum EMF as the wires are now travelling perpendicular to the field. At 180 degrees we again have zero EMF. 270 it will be a maximum in the opposite direction going back to zero after one complete rotation. So we can join these points with a smooth curve. So we can join these points with a smooth curve. In part two we need to give the value of the flux linkage for the coil at the positions where the EMF has its greatest values. Well the EMF is greatest when the actual flux linkage is zero. In part three we need to explain why the magnitude of the EMF is greatest at the values of theta shown in our previous answer. Well, EMF is directly proportional to the rate of change of flux linkage. The flux linkage through the coil changes constantly as it is rotated, but the rate of change, and therefore the EMF, is greatest when the plane of the coil is parallel to the magnetic field. So the motion of the wires is perpendicular to the field at its greatest value.